It was really a very painful situation. The whole, whole traditional order of the society was just destroyed. In fact, when the government collapsed, when the law and order collapsed, the only thing that held us together was our culture, our tradition. I suppose one of the big advantages of Solomon Islands is the community and the way that communities work. Really what we, what we see is an opportunity with uh, very close-knit communities to drive development. We can really uh, translate the stability that Ramsey has provided uh, into be better outcomes for people. In my time what I tried to, to do is promote human security and women's security in particular as an absolutely fundamental part of the security of a nation. Uh, and one of the things that um, I used to say to, to, in all my outreach visits was, if you don't have peace in the home, you won't have peace in your village and you won't have peace in your communities. In the dark hours of Solomon Islands, the women stood up tall to make those decisions. So it was a visible sign that we were capable to take leadership alongside our men, because we, not, we cannot only be victims, but we, we can also provide solutions. The mothers and the wives and the, and the, and the daughters uh, and sisters put a lot of pressure on the men folk to actually hand over weapons and I think that was quite effective, the, you know, the use of the, uh, the very strong sort of maternal strength over here uh, and also the power of the church. Churches are at the centre of the life of Solomon Islanders. They are the centre of all communities. They're the place where people gather to consult each other. Um, obviously they're a place for worship. So churches are going to play a critical role in the post-Ramsey environment. Uh, they already are playing a very constructive role in terms of spreading information about the post-Ramsey uh, period that, that we face. Uh, expresses the church's truthful commitment to working towards peace, even pushing through barriers, conflict, hatred, division, uh, everything, uh, in order to touch the goodness of peace and reconciliation that we are looking for.